Institutes, right? So this is the 2021 Berkshire Hathaway Annual Meeting. This is Warren Buffett and, um, what is that, Satan? Charlie Munger, sorry. Uh, I repeat myself. All right. So uh, let me just make sure you guys can hear this. Uh, I won't show the video, but. Well, those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull. <laughs> of course, I hate the Bitcoin success. And I don't welcome a currency that's so useful and to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth. Nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. So I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. And I'll let, leave the criticism to others. I'm all right on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, this is from Anthony Pompliano. Um, so Charlie Munger says, I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. So Charlie Munger, Pompliano says, owns banks that launder billions of, year, billions of dollars per year and have been charged criminally. So this is, this is here's, here's what you have to be really really careful of people who oh, 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 they invite you into laughing at someone or something i mean fucking retarded parrot librarian john oliver does this stuff all the time and bill maher tried it you know just laughed all a joke oh, it's country i'm fine with that country okay so if somebody's talking, he says it's contrary to the interests. It's disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. It's used for extortion and, and kidnapping and what is it, blackmail, extortion and blackmail and, and you know, uh, all of that, right? So if they're right, this is really serious shit. Really serious shit. Now, you don't giggle and chortle about fucking kidnapping and extortion, right? You don't, you don't laugh about that shit. If it's a if Bitcoin is a criminal coin, right? You don't. Oh, oh, oh. If if it is disgusting, contrary to the interests of civilization, then you don't fucking laugh about it. But this so when people giggle about stuff and they make it kind of jokey and so on, that's them trying to evacuate your judgment. He's not presenting any arguments here. Obviously, he's not presenting any evidence or any data. What he is doing is he's trying to get his retarded fucking investors to laugh at having missed out on the investment opportunity, not of a lifetime, but of all of human history. Even so far. Even so far. To have gone from zero to 50 to 60 plus thousand dollars per Bitcoin. unthinkable. Bitcoin is the asset that's gone to a trillion dollars faster than any other asset in history. And these two chowderheads are giggling because they can't sit there and say, well, obviously they've got no problem with evil because they use fiat, right? Fiat is murder coin, right? It's death coin. It's slave coin. It's a slave coin. It's a mark of the beast. It's a stamp of human ownership, right? So they got no problem because he owns banks, launder billions have been charged criminally. Yeah, they got no problem with that, right? No problem with that. So what do they have a problem with? They have to laugh. Well, it's a good thing that we didn't make you guys all that money because it's disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. Now I'm good with that. Why you would give your money to these people is absolutely incomprehensible to me. Absolutely incomprehensible to me. Let me tell you something else I wanted to mention at the beginning. Well, those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull. 
So on the left here, right? Uh, Warren Buffett. That's Warren Buffett, right? Yeah. So he's got a he's got a giggle at this stuff, but it's serious shit. If you think this is criminal stuff, then and you're fine with fiat. Then fiat is used to fund war. Fiat is used to fund intergenerational debt slavery. Fiat is used to fund unfathomable levels of evil in the world. So they got no problem with with fiat, right? They got no problem with fiat. And what is it? 1% of Bitcoin is used for illegitimate activity. And some of that illegitimate activity is not even morally illegitimate. It just happens to be illegal. It's not a violation of the non-aggression principle to buy and sell drugs. It's not wise. It's not a violation of the non-aggression principle. It's no complainant. So these two guys, these two fucking crypt keepers of the mass murder status quo, they have no problem with fiat. They got no problem. They didn't say, well... Jesus Christ, we have got to sell our U.S. bonds because the U.S. just invaded Iraq, which is a sovereign nation that does not threaten the U.S. They just committed the international fucking war crime called aggression, which is the gravest war crime known to international law. They just invaded a sovereign fucking country, irradiated half of Fallujah and murdered hundreds of thousands of people and destroyed an entire fucking country based on lies. So we have got to get the fuck out of U.S. bonds and treasuries. Because that's really, really fucking evil. No, they got no problem with that. These fucking sociopaths. They don't sit there and say, well, you know, when we give the... When we give governments money, they use that as collateral to borrow against the future economic productivity of people who aren't even born yet. So clearly we can't give the government money because we're selling people into slavery. We're selling the unborn into slavery. They got no fucking problem with that, do they? No problem with that at all. Well, when we give governments money, they use it to mass surveil their own citizens. They use that money to indoctrinate and drug children for the crime of being bored by woke, hysterical, mind-numbing government indoctrination. <gasps> Are you not interested in what it is I have to tell you? Well, clearly, you have to be drugged. You don't like what I'm telling you? Well, you must have a mental illness, and we're going to have to drug you into a glassy, drooling, catatonic version of your former self. Two major institutions did that over the last hundred years. Number one, Soviet Russia. Number two, government schools. So they got no problem with any of that. <sighs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Teachers Union comes along and says, hey, can you guys handle our retirement investment portfolio? Absolutely we can. No problem with any of that. Love it. And these liver spotted monsters in human form, they got a problem with a voluntary, free market, limited alternative to murder coin. It's contrary to the interests of civilization. And they're laughing about it. I mean, I'll make some jokes about Bitcoin and all that, but you understand Bitcoin ends war. I mean, it will support a defensive war, but it, it ends empire. Bitcoin ends empire. And wouldn't it nice to have something that ends empire that isn't, I don't know, the fucking barbarians or economic collapse or mass starvation or Rome going from a population of 2 million to 17,000 in one year? Wouldn't it be nice if we could end empire without the deaths of tens of millions of people? I think that would be a plus. These guys, not so much. How do they want the empire to end? Is it going to be a soft landing, a transition to Bitcoin? Or is it going to be a hard landing and a transition 
to spears and rusty water. Is the um, the end of fiat going to be a gentle transition to a limited coin that strips us of the ability to exploit each other, like tax cattle farmers exploit their meat? Or is it going to be roving gangs of people highly disappointed that the government wealth they came for ain't coming anymore and they're going to take it some other way, usually not too well and often with a pair of fucking pliers? How do you want this to go down? It's Bitcoin or bust. It's Bitcoin or bust. But these two out-of-touch oligarchs, who as far as I can tell have never put a dime into promoting peaceful parenting, oh, 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 it's funny, it's hilarious that we invest in murder coin. Because Bitcoin is really contrary to the interests of... Oh, 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 I'm good with that. Oh, oh. You understand that the future will not be able to look at us without vomiting. Psychologically, they will not be able to look back at us without revulsion. You know, you go read the Gulag archipelago or you go and and read about what happened at Treblanca or Auschwitz the normalization of the deranged disassembly of humanity you look back and you say what species of beasts in human form loped across the landscape how could people be like this They're sitting on $145 billion. The amount of good that could be done with that kind of money. Blow your mind. They don't know what to spend it on. Now, if they had spent it on Bitcoin, then they and their clients would be worth 20 to 30 times as much. Now, can they talk about that? Because they've been trash-talking Bitcoin for years, these guys, right? Even if it's just greed and wanting to up your numbers. They missed out on the whole damn thing. They don't have any problem with evil. They want to profit off it. They love it. What they have a problem with is good. And when people invite you to laugh at this they're trying to gouge out your moral center they're trying to gouge out your capacity for empathy and self-regard you don't fucking joke about this you can make fun of people who are joking about it but it is deadly serious stuff and you don't just laugh about this stuff these guys already have their money They've already had their lives. What about all of you and we who are still waiting to start, still chomping at the gate, no future, no career, no job, no house, no girlfriend, no kids. The average 25-year-old just a generation or two ago was already married and had a kid on the way, or two, already. Where are we swaddled in the infinite adolescence of not failure to launch, but nowhere to fucking land? When do we get ours? The only way to get ours is through Bitcoin. And that's what these guys hate the most. To be so unbelievably wrong, to be so unbelievably wrong is painful to the satanic vanity of those whose only thought is to their own self-regard. And it shows. The old quote is very true from King Lear. Thou shouldst not have been old before thou were wise. <laughs>